here every month to hear the stories that I don't tell at home. So, <laughs> step, step up. Six, step up. Success comes to those who hustle wisely. Oddly, that saying was the company motto of a meatpacking company in the 1920s. Was on a belt buckle that I got in the mid 1970s, and probably one of the phrases that altered my life. Now, this story actually starts about a year and a half ago. We have some contractors working around the house. I have a home office. I work from home. My whole day is on the phone, on the computer. One of the workmen, you know, asked my wife what I do. She explains. He says, "Boy, that sounds easy. I'm going to get a job like that." <laughs> The thought occurs to me, I flash back decades. I'm not gonna say how long, long time back. I came from a lower middle class background. We had no money. Surprisingly, I got into one of the top engineering schools in the world of which I was well underqualified. <laughs> it beat my tail constantly. During that period, because I worked my way through school, because we had no money and the financial aid systems more than a bit convoluted. But I worked at various things. I worked in, as a production worker. I worked as a truck driver. I worked as a surveyor, which is where I learned how to use a machete. You think surveying is all you know, procedure. It's cutting down trees in a swamp. I don't care where you are, it is always a swamp every day. <laughs> and among the things I did, I also worked as a janitor. I needed the money on this. I did a great job as a janitor. I, I, everything was sparkling, it was clean, phenomenal, did it in half the time of my predecessor. But one day it occurred to me that no matter how well you do, how successful you are, you are always going to be the janitor in there. And that hit me like a lightning bolt to the head. It had nothing to do with how hard I worked or what I did. It was about working smart. And that thought, which eventually ended up in the belt buckle, changed my life because I realized in school where I was really at the bottom of the class in grades, uh, as I said, I was way, way overwhelmed by what was going on there. But I began to change things around and work smarter in school, not harder, because beyond a doubt, that college was the hardest thing I ever did in my life. Decades later, still the hardest work I've ever done in my life. But we could change that around, begin to understand that the rules weren't exactly what they're laid out to be. So by the time it ended, when I graduated from school, I had probably the lowest GPA in my class. It wouldn't surprise me if I was dead last in that. I also had the third highest pay in the job offer for the school on that. So you move forward 40 years. I've got a beautiful wife successful kids, a nice home, and once a month I can afford to come to the sidebar <laughs> to the stories. So when kids look and see what I do and ask and say, I'm going to get a job like that, my response now is, great, but you got to learn how to hustle wisely. Yeah.